Hello everyone and welcome back. Today in this video we are gonna be talking about Active Directory. What is it and what is it used for? Let's get straight into it. Active Directory is a proprietary directory service developed by Microsoft to manage authentication and authorization of users and devices on a Windows domain network. It was first released in 2000 and installs on Windows Server that enables administrator to manage permissions and access to network resources. Basically, Active Directory is a database and set of services that connect users with the network resources they need to get their work done. Database contains critical information about users and resources and also record their permissions. That means who is allowed to do what in the network. For example, database might contain a list of 100 user accounts with details like each person's job title, phone number and password. But only few of them would be allowed to access the resources of printer. As I said, Active Directory is a database. It stores data as objects, which include users, applications, groups and devices. These objects are categorized according to their names and attributes. Alright, let's go a little more deeper into it. Technically, Active Directory serves as a centralized identity and access management solution that houses all network resources such as printer, server, shared files and so on. The purpose of Active Directory is to enable organizations to keep their network secure and organized without using excessive IT resources. For example, with Active Directory, Network Administrator doesn't have to manually update every change on every computer on the network. He simply does it once in Active Directory and every computer on the network gets updated. That's why organizations rely on Active Directory to efficiently manage the network. As I mentioned above, Active Directory is a set of services which control much of the activity that goes on in the IT department. The main Active Directory service is Active Directory Domain Services which is a part of Windows Server operating system. These services verify access when a user logs into a system over the network because only authorized users stored in Active Directory as objects can log onto the network. For example, Active Directory domain services make sure each person is who they claim to be. That's what called authentication. This is usually done by checking user ID and password they enter and allow them to access only the data they are allowed to use. That's what called authorization. Not only that, Active Directory domain services also assigns and enforces security policies. That means to which network resources user can get access. Now let me get your head around something really important. Server that runs Active Directory domain services is called domain controller. Businesses normally have multiple domain controllers and each one has a copy of the directory for the entire domain. If any change is made to the directory on one domain controller, such as password update or deletion of a user account is replicated to the other domain controller, so they all stay up to date. Other active directory services include lightweight directory services, federation services, rights management services and certificate services. Let's talk about the structure of data. Active Directory stores information in a hierarchical structure consisting of domains, trees and forests. A group of objects that share the same Active Directory database is called a domain. A tree is one or more domains grouped together in a logical hierarchy. A forest is the highest level of organization within Active Directory and contains a group of trees. Some important features of Active Directory include Schema defines the classes of objects and attributes contained in the directory. Global Catalog contains detailed information about every object in the directory. Query and Index Mechanism allow users, administrators and applications to efficiently find directory information. Replication Service distributes directory data across the network. Ok, now what are the benefits of Active Directory? Security Active Directory helps businesses to improve security by controlling access to network resources. Extensibility Companies can easily organize Active Directory data to align with their business needs. 
simplicity it's easy to create and delete user accounts for example it administrators only have to create an account for a new employee one time rather than having to set up an account on every pc resetting password is also a fast and simple process when an employee forgets his password administrator goes into the active directory to reset the new password it is then automatically updated across the entire network on every resource that user has access to setting permissions active directory allows you to create security groups for specific people for example which users can access network resources all right this brings me to the end of my video thanks for watching please subscribe